Hello everyone, thank you for clicking on this video. Today I'll be showing you how to set up an 11 bot high noon on the practice range. I know some of you wanted to see a more detailed guide on how to set this up, so I'll be going through how to set up each bot in depth so you can try to set this up on your own for whatever reason. So before we get started I just want to show a layout of where the bots are located on the practice range so you can get an understanding of what bot I'm referring to when I say bot 1 or bot 2. So here's a really crudely drawn map of what the practice range looks like and where the bots are located exactly, and I'll be referring to each of the bots to their corresponding number. Hopefully this map makes the tutorial a little bit easier to follow, so with all that cleared out of the way we can begin. Alright, we're going to start with bots number 1 and 2, which are the first two bots that you see when you exit the spawn. So what you want to do is you want to drag those bots down to over by these rocks down here. So in order to do that, you want to walk over to this railing, count off at 1, 2, 3. So at that third railing, that's where you're going to want to jump up. So right over here, you're going to want to go over to the bot, hook it, drag it down. Now if that happens, you're going to have to adjust yourself, so press W forward once or Take a step back depending on what position you're at right now. Uh, just play around with it. So once you're in the correct position, you can take the bot, pull him down like that, and then he'll just rest down there. And you can do the same for bot number two. You shouldn't have to move. But if you do, only move yourself a very small amount. So now that bots one and two are down there, you're going to want to jump across, don't fall, and hook them over to where you are. And in order to do this, you're going to want to jump right as the hook animation begins to end. So right before you bring the bot into you, you're going to want to jump. If you don't jump, the poor fucker is going to end up falling to his death and you got to repeat the whole process. So drag both bot number one and number two to you, and then after you're done, kill yourself. Because there's no way that Hog's going to get his fat ass over that gap. Once you respawn, you're going to want to go up the stairs to the right of the spawn and keep going up until you see the friendly bot pacing back and forth at the highest point of the map. Once you're there, go up to this railing and on the third pole, you're going to want to go slightly in front of it. So the spot that I'm meleeing, you're going to want to go there, jump up onto the railing and slightly inch off of it, but don't quite fall off of it. And you're going to want to pull bot one up to the corner over there. Now once the bot is there, he's going to start walking back to go back to his position, but he gets stuck in this middle bit over here. In order to get him unstuck, you're going to have to do the same jumping hook trick that you did before, and he'll start trying to walk back to his original position. So before he can get back to his original position, you want to go over to the edge of the railing where you hooked bot 1, and jump over to the building that's connected by the bridge in the middle. After that, you're going to want to cross the bridge, walk over to a position where you can hook bot 1 before he can get back to his original position. Make sure you don't confuse bot 1 with bot 7, since bot 7 is also walking along the same path that bot 1 also walks. If you miss, the bot's going to reset and you got to do everything all over again, so make sure you hit that hook. You're going to want to repeat the same process again for bot number 2, the only difference being that you have to walk forwards or backwards on the initial railing depending on what position bot number 2 is on your screen. It doesn't really matter where exactly you hook them on this railing, I just like to go to that third rail as a good starting point. Alright, moving on to bot number 3. I actually prefer to keep bot number 3 where it is because I like to have something to charge my ultimate on. If you do decide to bring bot number 3 up, make sure you leave enough time for you to have McCree charge its ult just by statically standing there. Now, in order to bring bot number 3 up, you're going to want to go to this target, go over to this line, and follow it up to about where the white area meets the gray area. And at that point, you're going to want to hook the bot right as it spawns, jump before actually pulling the bot in, while also looking up into the side. So while you hook, you kind of want to do this diagonal motion, where you're kind of like lifting the bot up onto the ledge instead of him just falling off. Alright, so bots number 4 and 5 are kind of lumped together like bot number 1 and 2. So you're going to want to drop down onto the wall behind bot number 3, the one the friendly bot is shooting at, and then place yourself where the blue tarp is. And you're going to want to hook the bot, 
jump before pulling him in and do this motion where you're placing him on the wall. From there you're going to want to go back to where we pulled up bot number 3 and then you're going to hook the bot, jump while moving backwards and looking upwards. For bot number 5 you're going to want to drop down to the same wall as you did for bot number 4 and you're going to do the same exact setup as you did for bot number 4. You may have to adjust your starting position a little bit but you really shouldn't have to move that much. Once the setup's done you'll do the same exact process as you used to bring up bot number 4. For bot number 6, you're going to go on top of the roof with the two friendly bots being shot at, and then line yourself up with the cardboard box that's stuck in the snow on the roof. From there, you're going to walk forward onto the edge of the roof, just in front of the 30 meter mark, and then you're going to hook the bot, jump, while doing a sharp diagonal upwards motion. So in other words, your starting point is going to be the bot, and your end point should be the line on the support beam that I'm highlighting on the screen right now. Alright, so now that we're about at the halfway point, we'll take a quick break with bot number 7. Bot number 7 is super self-explanatory, he's just walking across the little path over there. You're just going to want to go over, hook him over. Super easy. So these last four bots are probably the most confusing in the setup, so I'll try to explain this as clearly as possible. So starting with bot number 8, bot number 8 is going to be walking along this path, and it's going to be walking back and forth a lot of it. So the starting position that you want to take is along these bumper strip looking things around where bot number 7 is walking. So you want to line yourself up with the bumper strips, go to the middle, take one step to the right, and one step forward, and that'll put you in the perfect position to hook bot number 8. So when you hook bot number 8, you want to do kind of like a lifting up motion as you jump, and place him onto the orange line in front of you. You want to make sure you place him on the orange line, otherwise he's just going to walk back to his original position. Once bot number 8 is stuck, you're going to want to walk back to where you hooked bot number 7 and you're just going to want to hook him over. Make sure you're walking backwards and jumping when you're doing this as well just to be safe. Alternatively, you can hook bot number 8 by walking up to this line just behind the 20 meter mark. And once you're there, you're going to want to hook bot number 8, jump, and quickly look over to the third floor on the building to your right. This is probably an easier method, honestly, but for whatever reason, I kind of struggle with this one, so do whatever method works best for you. Next up is bot number 9, and your starting position is going to be at the corner just in front of the 20 meter mark. So if you can melee the same spot that I meleeed, you should be in position. Bot number 9 is going to be walking in this weird serpentine kind of pattern, but eventually is going to stop in front of that weird looking square thing. Just make sure that the platforms aren't in the way when you hook the bot, because sometimes they could fuck it up. When you actually hook the bot, you're going to want to jump and quickly look over to the third floor of the building to your right. I know that sounds a little confusing, so I slowed down the footage a little bit, and I marked a little spot for you to use as a guide. Alright, for bot number 10, you're going to want to switch over to Doomfist real quick, and you're going to go ahead and make your way over to where bot number 10 is pacing back and forth. So if you look at the map, you can see that bot number 10 does this kind of back and forth pattern, except when he does a small little turn in front of the doorway. That turn is really important for getting bot number 10 where it needs to be in order for you to hook it. Your starting position is going to be the right corner of the doorway that bot number 10 is exiting. So in order to get the bot in position, you're going to want to uppercut the bot right as he's exiting the doorway. So right as he does that little turn, he's going to start walking over to where the square thingy is, and that should place him directly in front of your crosshair. Right when he's in front of you is when you're going to want to uppercut, and that should knock the bot on top of the square thing. You may not get this on your first try since the timing is a little bit off sometimes, but a good rule of thumb is just place your cursor on the square thing and do your uppercut and that should place the bot in the correct position, if you timed your uppercut correctly. Once bot number 10 is in position to be hooked, you're going to want to switch over to Roadhog and walk back to where you hooked bot number 8. From there you're going to want to pay attention to the movement of the platforms because you're going to have to time it so that the bot can go onto the platform when you hook the bot. So right as the platform is about to loop the corner in front of you, you're going to want to pull the bot onto the platform. This shouldn't be too hard since all you really have to do is hook, jump while also moving backwards, and looking upwards. The tricky part's probably going to be the timing of the platform, because if you time it wrong, sometimes the bot will just fall off the platform or your hook animation won't even happen. Once the bot's on the platform, you're going to want to walk across the bridge and hook the bot off of the platform to you. It doesn't really matter when you hook the bot, you can honestly wait for the platforms to do a full rotation, but that takes way too long. So for the last bot, which is bot number 11, you're going to want to switch to Lucio real quick, and you're going to go ahead and go over to this corner with this little light, and you're going to want to stand on it, 
and you're just gonna wait there for bot number 11 to walk up to you. Right when it stops in front of you, you're gonna wanna boop him onto the weird square looking thing where you fisted bot number 10 up to, which should be pretty easy to do if you play any Lucio at all. But knowing how most of you are probably DPS mains, an easy way to do this is just to line your crosser up with its head and boop it. From there, you're gonna wanna use the same procedure that you used to bring up bot number 10 from the square thing. So that's how you get all 11 bots into position. I didn't show me doing this in the footage, but you're probably gonna wanna reorganize the bots a little bit so they're all lined up nicely. You also want to take the time to make sure that none of the bots are overlapping with each other. Otherwise, one of the bots may block one of the bullets from hitting the other one when you're doing your high noon. It's high noon. Triple kill. Set them up, knock them down. I also want to mention that when you do hook the bots, they do lose a little bit of health. So you're going to want to make sure that your bots have enough health to be hooked. Otherwise, when you hook it, it's going to explode. And then you're going to have to redo the process for the bot that you just killed. Once everything looks nice and all organized, all you have to do from there is just switch to McCree, do your high noon, and you're all set. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Hopefully it wasn't too bad since this is my first time doing something like this. Feel free to leave me any comments or any suggestions to improve my tutorial or any tutorials in the future. I hope you all found success in setting this up. Hopefully it wasn't too painstaking. And I just want to thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you guys later. It's high noon. Raw. Never had a chance. Hello? Did someone say peanut butter? <laughs>